Let's say you want to run Fabric Mods on a Nitrado server. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this possible. Use any web browser and head over to fabricmc.net slash use and download the latest installer. Note that you don't want to download the executable, but the jar file. Now click on the file to open it. Click on the server tab, select your Minecraft and loader version, select your install location and press install. A few seconds later this extra window should have popped up but you also have to download the server.jar. If this does not uh, pop up that means you already have the server.jar and this step is not necessary. So you click on download server.jar after you get this, you know that your file has successfully been downloaded. This here is unnecessary for Nitrata servers, not only for Nitrata servers, but for all servers that are not local host. So just click done. And also close the fabric installer window now. You can see that all three files are shown in the downloads folder. You can now delete the fabric installer file. Now head over to the web interface of your server and the first thing you're going to do is to stop the server. After the server is stopped, you now want to head over to switch game and search for mod pack. And you want to select the Minecraft mod pack where you can also already see Forge Vanilla. Hit install. And here use the, the latest uh, Forge version and hit install again. After the installation you should see mod pack, Forge Vanilla and then any version. The server will also restart after the installation but you want to stop it again. Wait until the server is stopped and head over to your file manager. For this tutorial, I'll be using WinSCP, but the most frequently used uh, file manager is FileZilla, which works very similar to this. You will find two folders, the Minecraft Bucket or Vanilla. This is the version you had before. You can delete this one or save the world if you need the world or any uh, other files. But this folder is not needed anymore. So you go into this folder and you will see all uh, the files in here. There are only two files that are important for this tutorial. Those are the Minecraft server 1.16.5.draw and the Minecraft underscore server.draw. What you now want to do is to head over to your downloads folder and copy both files or yeah, drag and copy them into the Minecraft other packs folder. After uploading, you will find the server.jar and the fabric server launch.jar in your Minecraft other packs folder. You now want to delete the Minecraft server.jar and the Minecraft server 1.16.5.jar. You now want to rename the fabric server launch.jar to minecraft underscore server.jar. You can now head over to the live server console and start the server. For the first time you start the server with fabric, I'd recommend that you start it without any mods, just to be safe. If your server console looks similar to this, you know that everything is ready. You will also get the message that uh, the server will ignore an unknown attribute forge entity gravity. You can just ignore that. This is something that was left over from back when you uh, installed uh, forge vanilla. After you see the message thread query listener started you know that your server is ready. You can now already um, copy your IP, open a Minecraft instance, 
just ignore the fact that I forgot to take off my resource pack, go to multiplayer, add server, paste your uh, server IP and try to connect to the server or just click on refresh and look if you get a ping. If that is the case, if you get this, you know that your server is fully started. You can of course connect to it. If you don't have any mods loaded that require server side support. If you're running Minecraft on Fabric, there is an extra mod which allows you to have this mod menu. Now you want to stop your server again to be able to upload mods. To get a mod, you can for example go to curseforge.com, go to Minecraft, go to mods and scroll down and click on fabric. Here you have all mods that are available for the fabric version. You can now search for any specific mod. Note that for many mods the fabric API is required. I'll be using the lithium mod. For every mod that introduces new items or blocks etc you also need to have that mod installed on your client in order to be able to connect to the server as an example which is a performance mod that works for both server and client side but is only required on the server you can of course also have it on your client but there are also other uh, more useful performance mods like optifine I'd say for client side Optifine is the better one but for server side I think Lithium is the best performance mod you can get. You scroll down to recent files and download the most recent file for your game version. You now want to go to your file explorer, open the mods folder, locate your downloads folder uh, and drag the Lithium mod that you just downloaded to the mods folder. Now you can restart your server. Even though it still says Forge Vanilla as the game version, you have a custom fabric version running on your server. And that is about it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.